All right, everybody, it's 7 o'clock. Welcome to tonight's town council meeting, May 8th, 2017. Start with the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Item two. Mr. Bear, we have public comment and sign up list. Two things to uh, talk about today a little bit. Um, and one of them is I just think it was a wonderful idea to celebrate Arbor Day with the planting of a tree. But I think it's real important to think about all the trees all the time and how it helps our lives and what trees do, they're a symbol of life. And, and I think about all the trees that are be, going to be cut down on Kinderwood Mountain. So while we are planting one tree, it's a possibility that thousands of trees are gonna be cut down. And so I just wanted to bring that up. But I thought it was a great idea, Pete. I, but when you were saying it, there was no time for me to talk about it, but I thought this is wonderful, but I think we need to think about all the trees, not just the trees that we are planting. And, um, uh, and, and the trees on Candlewood Mountain, and I made a list of them, are oak and sugar and red maples, hickory, white and gray birch, elm trees, tulip trees, aspen trees, cherry trees, all beautiful trees. Not all of them. Most of them are really beautiful. Um, and um, what I'm asking for today is what we have planned um, for an ecological study, for a farmland study, for a possible um, intervener to get ready for this meeting that will be held, I think it's in Hartford, for the Siding Council. And I just, I know Carl mentioned it two weeks ago, and I was wondering if you could just tell me where we are on that. I can't really give an update, it's public comment. So, well, I, you, you know, I don't, I don't know how to just, get answers. This is, this is a problem. Yeah, I don't know how to sure. get answers. Yeah. So yeah, when sure. something, just, something's brought up, it's sure. like, okay, now what happens? It's two weeks later, and I don't know. Just give me a call, and we could discuss it. Okay. And so I'll probably have to discuss this with you also. Um, Carl and I are really passionate about the committees we are on. Um, Pete, you know. Tom knows. We've been on education committees together. Um, I don't miss meetings. Carl doesn't miss meetings. He takes them really seriously, and so do I. Um, we make them fun, but um, we get a lot done. And um, Carl put his name in to be on the Riverfront Committee. Mm -hmm. He didn't put his name in for much, but he's passionate about it. He's not passionate about all of the committees. He knows this town like no one knows this town. And, um, and I was wondering why another person couldn't have been added to that committee. I, I don't understand if it's his age or there's a, a problem with him. But he doesn't know I'm here, just openings, so you know. <laughs> so still two openings, so it's not full yet. Okay. Um, so, I'm, you know, I, I was just wondering about that. And, and you know, we are um, civic-minded. We go to the meetings. And maybe we talk up too much at the meetings. Um, but we love New Milford, you know. And, and um, we want to do our part, just like, well, a lot of people do. Some people don't. They don't care. We do. So anyway, if, um, I'll call your office, and I thank you for that, um, to get an update, um, and I hope there's something is going on, because I know that siting council meeting is going to be coming up, and I want to make sure we are ready for it, the town is ready for it. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Scott Chamberlain, Elena Drive, New Milford, Connecticut. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to uh, uh, Pastor uh, Gailey and the uh, members of the Livingstones Community Church. I'd like to welcome them to the community and thank them for the very kind and thoughtful and uh, heartfelt uh, uh, note they sent to members of the council. It's not often that we get uh, notes saying thank you and wishing us love and giving us prayers, but uh, believe me, it's sincerely appreciated, and we'd like to uh, welcome the pastor and... Uh, wish his uh, parish much uh, good fortune and uh, love in the community. Here, here. Thank you. Thank Mr. You, Mayor? Mr. Mayor. All right. Thank you, everybody. Item three, approval of the uh, prior minutes. Motion to approve the regular town council meeting minutes of 424-2017.
Is there a second? Second. Second. Entertain a friendly amendment to add um, the last page. It's just got to have the resolution uh, for that small city's grants. Um, make a friendly amendment. Okay. Second. Okay. So with that, all in favor? Uh, all right. Opposed? Motion carries. Anything else, Robin? All right, good. All right, Mayor's comments. We don't have much going on today, so I'll try to, you know, let's skip right to number five and entertain a motion regarding the third Thursday concert series. Motion to approve um, to close the Southern Crossover of the Green on July 15th, July 20th, June 15th, July 20th, and August 17th, 2017 with the rain dates of June 22nd, July 21st, and August 24th, 2017, from 4.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. for the setup duration and breakdown of the third Thursday free concert series on the green. Second. Sure. Any further discussion? I'm sure everybody would join me in thanking Bank Street Investments for the third Thursday concerts. They're a great addition to the green and to the downtown during the summertime. So with that being said, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 6. Motion to approve the request to close Main Street, the southern crossover of the Green, the westbound portion of Bridge Street, Railroad Street, and Bennett Street for the setup duration and breakdown of the Memorial Day Parade, approximately 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Monday, May 29, 2017. Second. Let's hope we get better weather this year. Any other uh, comments? Or... Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 7. Motion to approve the following appointments to boards and commissions. Traffic Authority, Rosaline H. Gill, Democrat Alternate, for 5 8 um, 2017 to 11 30 2017. Conservation. Let's, maybe we take, let's take we'll the commissions. Yeah, you know, individually. Okay. So uh, that's the motion. Frank, you had a second? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Motion to approve the appointment um, to the Conservation Commission. Michael M. Bird, unaffiliated. Um, 5 8 2017 to 11 30 2021. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Motion to approve the appointments to the Riverfront Development Commission Julianne K. Bailey, Peter Schmidt, Richard P. Um, B. Rosiello, Christopher P. Gardner, Lucy Wildrick, Frank Wargo, Weba Furman for the period of 5 8 2017 to 11 30 2017. Second. Second. Uh, Mr. Bass. Thank you, Mayor. Um, quick question. Um, Nancy had mentioned Carl. Should mm -hmm. he contact your office? Yeah, and just to address that, well, there's been a lot of interest in this, not just Carl. There's there's a um, significant number of um, more people that applied than spots were really avail available, but there are still two alternate spots. So this was just to kind of get the, the committee going. The alternates, I would imagine, would play just as an important uh, role as anybody else. So yes, I do have uh, Mr. Dunham's name for the list, and uh, you know, as well as as extra kind of alternates as well. Anybody else that's interested should contact me as well. Thank you, ma'am. All right, fair enough. Uh, any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Abstention, <laughs> Mr. Wargo. Thank you. You can vote for yourself, Frank. No, I don't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. We got item eight, reappointments. Motion to approve the reappointments to the to um, the Bike and Trail Committee, Lisa M. Arasim, Mary Jane Lundgren, James R. McKeon, um, Thomas Philip O'Brien, and Pam S. Pacheco for the term 5-1-2017 to 11 2017 Second. Okay. Just to say these this committee has done a tremendous amount of work in a short amount of time. We see the riverfront is, uh, you know, walk is coming along and they're already well into, you know, Mary Jane, you know, working with Malone and McBroom to connect it north to Kent and south to Brookfield and everything in between. So yes, it's keep up really the great work. Along. It's um, exciting. Appreciate it. Um, so with that being said, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Item nine, we've got personnel. Motion to approve the uh, recommendation of the job description subcommittee to approve the updated job description of the Commission on Aging Secretary Clerical Transportation Grant Support. And um, Greg Valero, myself, and um, Katie Francis met. And oh, let me get the motion first. So okay. the motion is there a second? Yes, sir. Okay. And then our discussion. So we did meet and uh, with Katie and the three of us and uh, went over the job description. This is a grant subsidized position, correct? That is correct. So. Um, there is a correction on this um, 
where it says that it's actually 19 and a half hours per week for this clerical transportation grant for 13 uh, B. This is actually 12 hours per week. So the way this position came about, we had an alternate bus driver that was assisting both Tom and Leslie. And just to satisfy the union, we ended up making this a little bit more of a clerical position. This job description reflects the duties of someone that's already kind of on board the bus 12 hours a week. Um, it pays about $12,500 a year. Okay. And working with Carolyn also, um, you know, mm -hmm. the um, job Fantastic. Okay, so it's funded by grants, and you need this kind of description in order to kind of apply for the grant, right? Correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this person's already hired, and this person's not already on board. It provides a really important clerical function for the senior center. And Carolyn, if you want to, you know, elaborate on anything, if there's any questions. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, Mr. Bassett, so you have your hand. Just a quick question. Yep. Mary Jane, did everybody, did Katie and yourself and everyone saw that great? Yeah, we were all in agreement. Yeah, Thank we you. went over it line by line. Awesome. <laughs> so. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Carolyn, anything um, you want to add? On no, this? I just want to thank Mary Jane and Katie and Otis Ray. Um, and we expedited this pretty quickly once it was on the table. And um, it's a perfect fit. We just need a second one to be filled. <laughs> Great. We'll get to that next. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so with that amendment, so it's going to read 12 hours instead of 19 and a half hours. Correct. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And then item B. Uh, motion to approve the recommendation of the job description subcommittee to accept the job description of the Commission on Aging's um, Chore Services Coordinator of Operations. Second. Okay. Same thing, three of us met on that mm -hmm. and also with Carolyn's input and um, this is a vital job yes, at the so Senior Center. This position is actually vacant. Um, it had been filled by Aaron Baldwick who recently left us. Um, this is also grant funded. There's only $5,000 that actually comes from town personnel funds. Um, the other three quarters of the grant for a total of 20500 is what the position is. It's 19 and a half hours per week, and this person's really in charge of managing the overall chores program for the town. And it's got full responsibility, kind of soup to nuts, from qualifying the, uh, the participants to also working with those that are receiving the benefits and then also participates throughout the senior center throughout. And then Carolyn, I know, you know, I know I'm not the first, I wasn't the one to start this, but you know, we started discussing this when I got a call at my office and then I contacted you about somebody that just wanted to move at one of those big TVs out of their house. It was a senior citizen and they just needed help and put her in touch with um, Carolyn. We've been kind of doing this as a, you know, an informal basis. And then, you know, you put together the paperwork, you applied for the grants. And it's great that you've actually achieved this because, you know, there's a real need for it in our senior community. And, um, you know, that's great that it kind of worked out like this. So thank you for that. And it's, our it's seniors need it. Yeah. No, great job on that. Uh, so 19 and a half hours, grant funded, you know, with the, the exception mm -hmm. of, um, you know, some of the town that we have already. So outside of that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Motion carries, Mr. Mayor. We did that already with the uh, thing. Um, so, yeah, there was a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, everybody.